But we're here. We made it. Right, I'm gonna uh, just jump off this thing. Am I at the right place? I am. We've made it to a new town. Or a new area, I guess. And I do need some food. It's right up here. Oh yeah, you could see the baddies all over the place. Level up. Which is actually pretty sweet. I should have built my shield though. I feel foolish for not having it. Nice. Chopped him. Alright, there we go. So, because I didn't build the shield... Oh, look at this. I'm going to need to go to a... To open this up. Oh, the spears. I was like, what's hurting me? It's all these dumb spears. Okay, activate this. Let's see if we can get in. No. But it should update the map with uh, the places we need to go. Oh, whoa, they're really far away. Okay, so unlike on the starter island, all right, like you can see this is where I would need to go. So you really need to start sailing around. And the game becomes enormous at this point. Um, so that's awesome. I'm not ready for that just yet. But I can start gathering some of this uh, more advanced... Nope, I can't. I was thinking maybe I could chomp some of this other lumber, but I still can't. Well, we're going to need to upgrade even further. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to do... Um, oh, look, we can build a, a wood lattice for fine growing vines. Um, we can make a signpost. Cool. Make some furniture in our home. Now, I have three skill points, so I could upgrade my health. Um, but I think I want to do this because I really want that extra toolbar slot. All right, and I'm going to keep the pickaxe here and yep, just get some clay, explore this island a little bit, see if we can find any new, I mean, there's a ton of lavender on this island. If I moved in the florist, I think I could sell all of this lavender and make some bank. There's pumpkins. Sweet. Gather those delicious pumpkins. By the way, this is just a personal thing. I don't find pumpkins to be delicious in the slightest. I uh, enjoy pumpkin pie. But other than that, I don't have any use for pumpkins. I, I think they're gross, and the idea that you would eat them in this game, like you would eat a melon, um, is uh, revolting. Okay, so there's some houses that are here. This is interesting. Some old ruins. Now, I don't know if you can, like, ever settle this part of the game, like, get people to live out here. Well, what's going on, but this is cool. This adds, like, a, a large you know, exploration element to the game that I didn't see before. I like it. All right, uh, let's see. All right, there's some berries and... Ah, money, ooh, gems. Heck yeah, we found gems. Look at this stone place with this cool carpeting. I wish I could pick that carpet up and take it back to my house. Little fire pit here.
Ooh, there's containers filled with uh, metal. This is great. And yeah, the game is getting sweet. Now I can find uh, new places to to gather these bits. This was um, something that you're... When I first played the game, earlier phase of its development, getting that, those gears and, and such was was a real bottleneck because you only had the, the starter dungeon to really go to. Now I have a ton. Look at this stone bridge. That'll get you there. Nice looking edifice, that bridge. Get out of here. Take that. Yeah, we're almost next level. This is a great place to get experience, too. Again, I... I know that I should have crafted the shield. So I could be blocking. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Make no mistake. Leveled up, and we got a bunch of resources. Seems like a win. Oh, here's some glass. We'll take it. We need to make windows. Alright. Now I'm saving up uh, this skill point because what I really want is to have an extra toolbar slot. It's so helpful. Um, ooh, there's money for when you want, like, to, to have a shield as well. Metal parts. Now, this isn't um, a lighthouse. Or maybe it is. It's just a cool place. It used to be, probably. Took a little bit of tumbling damage, but not much. And, yeah, I would say that we actually explored the entirety of that little island. So I'm going to go back and make the shield so I can take advantage of the blocking. Ton of clay, crabs. Oh, barrel. What do we get? Metal. I mean, that is fantastic. I missed a bottle up there. Oh, here's a bottle. Replace it, and then even more metal. Wow. Bottle. Barrel. Wow. Just walking the coast, raking it in. Lavender stockpile. All right. Can I see my boat on the... I can. By the way, that's just a huge thing that this game has, uh, which is it shows you your boat on the map. All games should do that show you your vehicle so you can't get lost as easily because i do i'm going to jump on the boat and we're going to go ahead and just sail away all right so we're chilling sailing back and the goal is uh, well, we got to get through these currents. Whoa! Which we did. I want to buy a fishing pole. Fishing is fun. As it generally is. Alright. I'm telling you, if this game ever just adds, um, the ability to rotate the camera while you're playing, and not just in build mode, and then also, um, a minimap... It's going to be gross. I mean, in a good way. All right, we'll jump off. Okay, pick up some of this lumber, etc. And let's see. Now, because of um, we can build the fishing pole right away, we can also make the shield, which 
you know, I said I want. We got it. Iron shield unlocked. Um, we can actually even make a spear, you know, if we want some new weapon types. Uh, I'll make the fishing pole like such. All right. Now, we can't make the iron shield because we would need uh, to build uh, a refinery. Grind down large minerals into little bits so you can sift out all sorts of precious metals and gems. Well, that's good, but no, we need this smelter um, eventually. Now, I can build a refinery. Let's just go ahead and rotate the home. Like, we could put a refinery, you know, over here. Right across from the bed. So every, every morning when we wake up, we see this refinery. Um, we could also build this fireplace because it seems... I don't even know if it does anything, but it seems cool. Sweet. And, you know, if we want to make a farming area, we can do this. Right there. Great. So, at this point... Um, yeah, fuel. I mean, I guess we can use... You know, some coal. And then input. I don't know. All I have that goes in here is clay. And then output would be crystal, I guess. All right. Go ahead. See if this happens. Interesting. And what can I do here? Fuel. All right. Put in wood. Input. Oh, am I going to make better food? I don't know. Put this mushroom in there. Nothing comes out. What if I put in pumpkin? No. Um, it's not a recipe. I don't know if you have to learn recipes. I got this. I got the pumpkin berry mushroom. How is that not good? Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's why I'm probably catching fish so you can, you can cook them would make sense right there. So, at this point, um, can I actually... Oh, I do have some seeds, don't I? Sure. Plant all the pumpkin seeds. Wow, that's cool. You can just plant them all. And then, I don't know. Plant all the... I'm growing food right now just for my own um, practicality. Plant those and then... Um, I guess plant all of them. Okay, great. And I need my watering can. But I think if I build a well, it keeps it watered? Or, I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't build the watering can. Oh, God. I'm ruined. The well take stone, which is what I'm missing. Okay, let's get some stone. See if building a well will do anything intelligent for our water situation. Alright, we need about four more. Hit that sweet spot. I need some stone. There's, well, I'm seeing clay far more than I normally would. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found some gems just chilling there for us. Right there in the clay. Here we go.
Perfect. A beautiful scene. All right. So at this point, I'm going to go back and build the well. Need to equip my shield. And we need to start going to these blue areas on the map and build up our town as well. I have this well, but I think you probably... Yeah, you have to have your watering can itself. And I can't build the watering can because... Um, Oh, no, I can't. I just need some wood. I have the metal. Oh, I was worried that the shortage was the metal. That's great. Oh, I'm losing health um, because I'm hungry. Whoops, I didn't see that. That's embarrassing. All right, let's go and let's equip some more food of some kind. Do I have any? God, I don't really have that much to eat. I guess I have some pears. Yeah, this is why I need fishing. All right. Um, all right. Can we make it now? Yeah, we can. Crafted it. Okay, fantastic. And we're just going to close this up. And we will put this here just for the time being. Watering your crops. Use your watering can's ability key to water your crops. Uh, farms need to stay watered in order to grow. Refill your watering can at a well or a natural water source. Grow your farm with automated watering systems. Oh, that's really cool. So there's like a windmill and some kind of like raised water reservoir collector that's fun this is all new to the update that i um all right so i just push um watering can is empty oh, that's that's a shame here all right now it's full okay cool just use the uh that and it waters the whole patch and it really looks good too sweet we just watered it beautifully right, how much lumber am i carrying around four i'm carrying four that is not sufficient Well, you know what? I kind of want to build the house to let the uh, lumberjack move in. But really what I need to be doing is getting my food supply going. It's not there. So let's see. Let me go try to equip the fishing rod and see if I can have any luck fishing. Yep, there's a place to fish right there. Okay, let me see if I remember how to fish. I'm like trying to reel it in. I guess you just push it when it times. Yep. And it said catch of the day. So did I catch anything? I didn't even see what it... I would have caught right there. Um, I'm going to go over to the food tab and the fish tab, and yes, we caught a raw sardine. All right, well, better than no sardine. 
All right, let's try it again. So I'm just kind of fishing on this, like, circle of fish. And... Just pushing it when it flashes. You don't need to hold it. Oh. The red one didn't seem good there. Maybe that meant, like, I wasn't good enough to get the fish. You just wait for him to bite, and then... You're all the, you're always reeling. Got it. Okay, so I got a couple of fish right here. And then let me just t see what I can get if I go into my house. And I'm like, hey, use this thing. And, uh, well, clear all this. That was a, was a bad idea. And then on the input, put the... Oh, I can't even cook the sardine? I guess not. Maybe I need either need a recipe or I can just eat it, you know, raw. Hmm. Does that sound good? Or maybe I need a campfire to eat that. Hmm. Well, maybe you get recipes in this. Maybe I should go talk to the, the fisherman. I do have 72 coins, which I could probably spend on something fantastic. By the way, let me look about making a campfire. What is that going to set me back? Oh, wow. Look at the trees just growing like right before my eyes. That was pretty wild. No. Uh, I just need stone. Oh, well, there's stone right here. All right. Oh, my God. I need one more stone. Sweet Moses. We need some... Some better supplies. Oh, there's a place to fish. That's clay, but come on now. That's not what we're looking for. If my memory serves, there was a better... Yeah, there's another place to get clay right there, but... There we go. I'm just going to test to see if I can cook anything at this kind of a campfire. I do accept that the answer is probably no, but I would like to try. Alright, so I'm going to build it, you know. Uh, we can build it right there. Close enough to the house to burn it down. Alright, let's go ahead and use it and then fuel lumber input okay we can cook the sardines here we just can't cook them in the in the oven inside but here we go so now we're cooking our sardines into something that can only be described as delicious all right uh did i mess it up there we go. No, you, I just only put one fish on there. I thought I put all of them on there. Now, let's see what happens with the output. You can see it takes a ton of logs to, like, cook one. Right, we'll extinguish it. We'll close it. And I'm going to go into my inventory. And I'm just going to check out my food. So, I just made some food to eat. Um, and... Well, wait, did I not... Maybe I need to take it out of the uh, fireplace. Yes, okay, I need. It. I didn't take it. All right, so you need to select it from the output, and then it goes over here, and it says, you know, grilled herring. So I can put it right there, and then 
I can, uh... Oop. Not that button. Yeah. And it does feed you pretty well. Awesome. Well, look at this. We're almost 8th level as well. So... I've been able to see some of the new content that they added to the game, and I'm really excited with the trajectory of it. Using a controller has turned out to be awesome for the game. Uh, I've got a lot of people to move into the town, and I have a ton more to do as well as exploring, but I think that this game has a lot of upside, and I'm excited to see how it continues to progress as it moves through early access into release. Everyone, thank you so much for coming out to the stream tonight and checking out some Lens Island. It was good to come back, and I'm glad that I did. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. I'll be back tomorrow with some ancient domains of mystery for Roguelike Monday. Take care, everybody. Alex, Ninja Joe, Alucard, Swift Squirrel, Someone, April, Astral, Luffy... Alex, Jay, Fire Rat. Take care, everybody. Have a great one.